Okay, today we're going to be working in Blender 3D. This is the default view, but I'm going to be splitting the screen to how I like it. A top view, front view, and camera view. And uh, this is the default scene. I'm going to clone this cube and just kind of set things up like so. Maybe add a plane. So I'm just creating a little scene here. And let's now create another scene. I'll create an empty scene without anything in it. And I will add a UV sphere. There's the UV sphere. Let's say this UV sphere is a character I'm creating for a video project or maybe just a model of some sort. And I'm just gonna move things around so you can see it has a different shape. Now let's say I want to move this object from this scene to this scene. And the way we're going to do that is linking that object. So I have this object selected. I'm going to hit Control L and it says make links and you have options here. We're going to choose to scene and we're going to choose what scene we want to copy it to or link it to and we're going to link it to scene. So here we are. We're still in scene.001 here. We'll go to the first scene and there it is. Now you do have to realize that this is a link. So if I come back to this scene and I edit this object at all, like so. I can now go back to the other scene and you can see the change has also been made there because it's a link. And it works the other way too. If I rotate this here, I can go to the other scene and you can see it's been rotated. Now if I add another scene, I'll add another empty scene and I'll just add some UV spheres here just so we can tell the difference between this scene and the scene with the cubes. I can now go back to either of these scenes. Once again, have that object selected and say Control L to link. Choose scene and I'm going to choose that new scene, scene.002. Now you can see it is in that scene and all three are linked. So if I rotate that and scale it down or up, I can go to the other scenes and you can see they have been edited there as well. But if you delete the object from a scene, it does not delete it from the other scenes. But these two are still linked. So if I rotate this and scale it up and we go back to the other scene, you can see that it's been rotated and scaled up. It still is not in this scene from where we deleted it. Now, if you want to unlink it, I am quite sure there is probably another way of doing this. I do not know what it is. And the way that I do it is I just simply hit Shift D, which clones that object. And then I delete the object from here. So you can see I have that object there and this object here, but they are not linked because the one in this scene is actually a copy. So that is how you link objects. And one way of uh, making a copy that is not linked to the original object anymore. I hope you found this tutorial useful, and I hope you visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description. I have plenty of video tutorials there on a bunch of Blender stuff and other open source projects and programming. And I also hope that you visit, I have a forum and an IRC channel. The links for both those are in the description as well. I thank you for watch watching, watching. I thank you for watching, and I hope that you subscribe, rate, and comment on this video. Thank you again and have a great day.